Okay, today we are going to be talking about a 24-hour urine specimen collection, and this is a clean procedure, and this gives us a way to measure the concentration or dilution of the urine. It can also show us if there's any amino acids, creatinine, hormones, or glucose present in the urine. Um, this test basically shows us the generalized characteristics of the urine over a 24-hour period. A doctor may order this test if the patient is suspected to have conditions such as diabetic nephropathy, lupus nephritis, UTI or blockage, or any other kidney diseases. This task may be delegated to a nursing assistant personnel, but the nurse must first inform them that the proper method of collection and storage of specimens. So here are the supplies we need for the 24-hour urine collection and the straining of the urine. Here's a 24-hour urine jug to collect the urine. Here's a basin that we need to put in ice to keep the urine cold. We also need a biohazard bag to put any contaminated items we have or our urine specimen containers can go in there as well. We also need urine specimen cups to collect the urine to put into our 24-hour urine jug. Also, we need a strainer so when we strain the urine and if we find any stones, we can then put those stones into a specimen container and then send it to the lab. But we also make sure to have a label to put on it with the patient's identifying factors. And also, this is also a clean technique, so we need some gloves to make sure we're keeping. Hi, Mr. Zay, my name is Micah. I'm gonna be your student nurse today. How are you feeling? So, can you verify your name and date of birth for me? Okay, thank you. So the doctor has ordered a 24-hour urine collection and strain because of the symptoms you're having. So, for the first sample, we're just going to do the urine strain. So, I'm going to give you this urinal, and after you void, you can just press the call light, and I'll be back to get it for you, okay? Okay. Hey, Mr. Zhang, I'm here to get your urine sample so we can strain it. Oops. I'm just going to do hand hygiene and put some gloves on. I'm just going to take your urine to the bathroom so I can go strain it, okay? Okay, so we're going to go in the bathroom. Just going to pour this through the strainer. Okay. And it looks like there is a kidney stone in there. So I'm going to put that into the specimen container and label it and send it off to the lab so they can figure out what kind of stone it is so they can treat the underlying issue and there's a few types of different stones there's calcium stones which are the most common there's uric acid stones which are more common in men there's struvite stones which are more common in women with UTIs and there's cystine st uh, stones which are very rare and now that we are um, done with the urine strain we're going to discard of this and begin a 24-hour urine collection okay. Hi, Sherry, and I'll be your nurse for today. Here's a cup of water, and here's a clean urine. <laughs> so officially from now, we're going to be starting the 24-hour urine collection. So here's your call light, so anytime you feel like needing to urinate, um, press the call light, and I'll come and get yeah, the urine. That's what I'm just so about to get to. 24 hours urine. Do you have any questions? No, 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 no. That's wonderful. Here's oh. a cup of water, okay, to help start the process. Thank you. Hi, my name is Sherry, and I'll be your nurse for today. I saw you press your call light and that you finished urinating. Um, I see that there's no feces or any toilet paper in there, so I'm going to wash well, my hands well, now no, it's fine. and really put on some nice clean gloves. Was there anything else that you needed? No? Alright, that's wonderful. So now I'm going to be taking yeah. this urine only to the 24-hour urine jug so we can collect so. it. <laughs> Yeah, the different colors. Here's the call light if you need. So now we're in the bathroom and I have the urine. So now I'm going to dispose of the urine in the 24 hour urine jug that's in ice. Alright? And then we'll make sure to do this within a 24 hour period. Every time the patient presses the call light, I'll get the urine and pour it into this jug. Alright? And then I'll make sure to label the jug 
with two patient identifiers, the specimen source, collection data and time, and the number of the bomb. All right, so once we finish the 24-hour collection period, I'll take all contaminated items and put it inside the biohazard bag in the discard according to hospital policy. Now I have this 24-hour jug. Hi, I'm back. We finished the 24-hour collection period. Here's the 24-hour jug. And then now I'll label it with two patient identifiers, the specimen source, collection date and time, and the number of the bottle. Do you have any questions? No? Okay, that's wonderful. The bed's low and locked. Call ID is given. And now I'll take this to the lab. talk about some complications that may come up during the 24-hour urine collection. So if the urine is contaminated with stool or toilet paper, if you would repeat the patient instruction and specimen collection. If you're unable to obtain the specimen through clean voiding, the patient may need catheterization in order to get the sample. If the urine culture reveals bacterial growth, report findings to the healthcare provider and administer medications as ordered, and you would want to monitor the patient for fever and dysuria. Also, some infection control methods would include hand hygiene, application of clean gloves and clean technique, and proper disposal of contaminated containers. Some important labs that may show up would be the patient's hormones, glucose levels, adrenocorticoid steroid excretion, amino acids, and creatinine. So that concludes our presentation. Thank you.